Alright guys, so I'm going to give you a quick look at um, my new winch that I'm working on for my scale project. Uh, this is going to be hidden inside of the chassis itself. And uh, all it is, is a solar servo. It's a mini servo, it's not a micro servo. Okay? I went with the mini servo because of one reason which I'm about to explain to you guys. This is the D658 servo. Um, show you real quick. I have taken the potentiometer out. Uh, that's the motor right there. And then that little shiny piece right there is what I'm going to use as a guide for that um, for the actual line from the winch. You can see I'm trying to shine on and it's not looking too good. But uh, if you guys are used to working on your sumo you can see that this piece right here this um, metal piece right here that I'm using it's actually one of the sleeves or um, the bushings I guess that you have on your steering uh, rod that you take off your sumo when you do the upgrade I just used it to put it in there as a guide uh, I like to use a lot of parts that come from the sumo because um, it makes just the installation easier for you guys so you don't have to go to hobby shops and whatnot uh, as you can see you can see from one side to the other on that main gear which is what this is um, that is the main reason why I went with a mini servo instead of a micro servo because the micro servo you can't do that you cannot run the hole all the way through that main gear because it actually has another gear behind the main gear on the micro servo they're kind of stacked one on top of the other if you do that you're just not gonna you know you're not gonna have a functional servo on a micro servo the mini servos you can now obviously I took the front part of this uh, main gear out, I grinded it down and I threaded what was left of that gear so that I could put my bolt through it so you can see I haven't taken uh, out that round shape where the potentiometer went because I'm actually going to use that for um, when the winch pulls in the cable it will use that kind of like as a guide so it doesn't get all over the servo on the inside it doesn't get all tangled up now, the other part of this servo is this piece right here. What I used was um, a 3 millimeter uh, bolt. It's threaded all the way, but you don't need it to be threaded all the way. It just has to be long enough to reach that um, gear in the front. Uh, this bolt, I put two lug nuts on it. One in front of uh, the washer and one behind it. That washer is also going to serve you as a guide so that the wire that you're pulling doesn't go to the other side and get all tangled up as well. Now why did I put this bolt all the way out to the back plate? Where we visible? One, just makes it easier to get to. You can actually tighten it or loosen it from the outside of the servo without having to take everything out. And two, it's going to use this back plate as a, as a guide as well. It's, it's going to give it that extra point so that it could put torque on. If I wasn't you know, if I didn't put that hole in there, all the force would be exerted on the bearings that are on the main gear itself, the front and the back. This one happens to have two main, um, two ball bearings, so all the force will be exerted on that. Uh, by doing this, you take a lot of the weight off of those bearings because you have adding a third point for that to put uh, the weight on. This, the way this works out, is very simple. You just put that guy in there, you thread it all the way through the main gear and what you end up with is a closed servo where you're only going to be able to see that bolt on the outside and this you know gear that's been ground, ground down and that wire coming off from here um, this bolt is going to serve you as your reel and that's where the wires are actually curl up into now this is messy right now uh, because for you to do this you have to hold the wire between these two guys here so that that wire doesn't come doesn't come loose that cable that's where you sandwich that cable so it doesn't come loose and you can pull on it without it coming loose I put super glue on it as well and I sandwiched this in there between the the, the nuts uh, for the hook what I used instead of using those uh, keychain hooks I actually made my own hook so that it fits more into the 124 scale uh, that hook is extremely easy to make. You don't have to buy anything from anybody. Just uh, get yourself a snap ring 
and grind down one of the ears. Make sure it's the outside um, snap rings and not the ones that have the hole on the inside of the ring. Uh, not an internal snap ring, but an outside um, external snap ring. Take one of the ears out, you end up with a hook. And because it is a snap ring, it's made out of uh, steel and it's extremely strong. So it'll be way more than you're ever going to need for your 124 scale. Uh, because it is a snap ring, like I said, they have all kinds of sizes, so you can go bigger, smaller, whatever you like. This one just happens to be the size that I wanted, so that's a snap ring. That's all there is. Nothing fancy about it. I'm going to go ahead and put this together and show you guys what it's like actually running. Uh, the wires for the motor I'm going to pull out from here. and I'm going to connect them to the electronics from the servo. But... Um, Enough of that. Let me put it together and show you guys what it looks like. All right, all right, guys. So this is the the servo winch already put together. As you can see, all you really see on it is that bolt in the back, and then the little guide with the wire up in the front. Now the wires come off the back, and all you need is a positive and negative coming off the back because then you're gonna connect those to the the actual um, controller. Now I haven't decided as of yet how I want to run that controller, so I'm just going to run this straight to the battery just to show you guys how um, the winch is working. Uh, I have it connected to the sumo transmitter. You see I got the hook held on in there. Now I did this just because it's something that you guys can mimic at home, you know, it's something you already have. So let me see if I can hold this somehow and not get burned or something. Now this is not the smartest way to do this. I don't recommend you guys doing it this way because you could have some sparks fly. So please don't do it this way. Okay. Now if I can only hold it together. Come on now. As you can tell, I'm not really ready for this right now, but uh, it's gonna have to do. Okay, so there she is trying to do his job. Just pulling that transmitter. Ah, come on. I wanted it to pull it up, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting this battery uh, to stay put. Let me see if I can uh, get that wire to come out now. I'm going to reverse the polarity so I can have it pull. Let's see if I can hold it. Yep, and that's me dropping it on uh, my table. Anyways, I think I proved the point. <laughs> I'm going to stop here before my wife comes over and sees what I'm doing. Uh, that's the servo winch. Let me try and focus. Sorry about my poor camera abilities. That's the servo. Here's where the line comes out. That's where the bolt is held. That's the wire. That's my little snap ring right there. If I could focus on it. Not this. Yeah, there. There she is. And uh, that's the Sumo transmitter with batteries in it. So you can tell it's um, just a cleaner looking servo winch. It doesn't have to have that reel on the outside that kind of gets in the way. This is just a compact, better um, winch that you'll be able to put on your scale rig. This would also work. On a one-tenth scale, if you want to just have something like this hidden, hidden away, you don't have to actually use the standard size servo. You could use a mini servo. This is not a micro servo. It's a mini servo. It should be strong enough still to pull a one-tenth rig as long as it's not extremely heavy. And it's a lot easier to hide inside of your rig. Uh, anyways, 
figure I'll let you guys see how that goes. Um, if you got any questions, please just post them in there. Let me know what you think. Uh, I wish I was a little better prepared so that I could show you guys how this was working, but I was kind of in a rush to put it out there because I did the other video already. I'll make better videos of it. Anyways, let me know what you think. Thanks. All right, just a real quick show. <laughs> Sorry, I know the video was over, but just wanted to throw this out there. That's what the winch looks like with the, the cable pulled all the way in and the snap ring just kind of sticks in there. It just stays in place. And uh, I think it looks a lot better than the last one. All right, anyways, seriously, this is the, la the last little bit. Sorry for making such a long video, but uh, I figured you guys needed to see this. It looks freaking awesome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thanks for watching.